Hi, I'm Kevin with Audio Builders Workshop, and today we're going to take a look at the Expat Audio Eden Microphone Preamplifier. Expat Audio offers a range of modifications for DIY products like the Gyraf SSL compressor, as well as some original designs. As an example, we can take a look at this Eden Microphone Preamplifier. It's open here. Expat Audio has an extensive testing process, and they include a QC card with each of their preamps as well as some of the components that you may need to assemble it, including some standoffs, screws, and some headers. In addition, they offer this control board. It includes places for switches for phantom, pad, and phase, as well as a mic pre front end, which gives the ability to use either analog or digital control. With the kit for the control panel, you also get these switches, as well as the chip necessary for it. In our case, we decided to go, go ahead and order four sets of each of these components to put together in our Collective Cases case. Here's a front panel from Collective Cases, specifically designed for the Expat Audio preamp. Move aside. They also offer some other components. For example, here's their Uber PSU PCB. And on the website, they have links to Mauser carts where you can get all of the components necessary for putting this together. Here is their power distribution kit. And this comes with three boards that can all link together. using these pins. And in addition to these pins, they have some this really great tool to assist with breaking these pins off. So you can slide this pin in here. So that gives you a three pin. This can give you a four pin and a two pin. Just a handy tool to have around for any DIYer. One of their newer products is this slow phantom board. Get this open here. So this is the Asgrith Slow Phantom. Basically what it does is it takes the phantom power signal that's gonna go to your microphone and has it slowly ramp up so you won't have to worry ab too much about possibly damaging any of your speakers or other equipment as it won't be a sudden pop of just 48 volts. So make sure to check out Expat Audio and some of their great DIY designs.